What's up, Kinger Nation? And I'm back with another video. Today is a game day vlog, but I'm kind of documenting my full day. Um, sorry, I haven't been as consistent with the uploading. My family just moved into a new house, and I've been pretty bitty. Ugh, too early in the morning. I've been pretty busy recently. So, this week, I'm happy to finally get back to consistent uploads and everything. But uh, before I get into this video, I'll give you a quick uh, room tour. So, this is my uh, bed right here, as I have the Ghanaian flag hanging over there. And then, um, here's my uh, TV. And, uh, over here behind my TV is my uh, closet. This is something I gotta get put up, so I'm um, max downing. Get your ass over to my house and help me. Um, but yeah, this is my little closet. Flick the light over here. Uh, I have to put my shelves up under here so I can hang up my clothes. So basically, I just have a bunch of shit everywhere. Shit's messy. Uh, room's kind of a disaster, but tomorrow, it'll be all fixed. But yeah, this is basically my uh, setup um, inside here. So what I plan to do is put a desk right over here with a gaming chair set up or something once I get this all cleaned up. And then maybe I'll take this table out of my room and put something. I'm probably going to take this table out of my room and maybe get a TV stand. I have a pretty big TV, so I have to find something that fits it. Um, maybe check Facebook Marketplace or something. And then I'll start hanging up the rest of my uh, little decorations that I usually have in here. In here, I have my uh, personal bathroom. Um, yeah, here's my shower and everything. Uh, my mirrors, my sink. So, yeah, not too much to it, but yeah. This lighting is actually pretty good. Eh? You can see every shred and cut. It's nice. Anyways, uh, enough thirst trapping for now. But yeah, today we played the number two team in the country, Asia, in college. Uh, it's going to be a battle, but I think if we work hard and keep up the compete we had in practice today, we'll be just fine. Like I said, our team has nothing to lose. Uh, they're really in our favor when it comes down to that. You just got to go out there and work hard and we'll be successful. Other than that, the outline of my day is I do have work from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. today. I don't usually work on game days, but today is the one exception. Um, after work, I have to meet up with some friends. And after that, I have to another meeting with one of my buddies. And then I'll probably get prepared and go to the game. So follow along with me today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And yeah, let's get this day started. All right, guys, so now I am, I've been off work for a few hours now. I got pretty busy. Um, like I said, we just moved in, so I'm still picking up a lot of stuff for my mom. So uh, I just actually, this is our little uh, living room. I just picked up this uh, carpet to lay out because she doesn't really like wooden floors in the living room, so the carpet. And once we get this carpet in here, we're going to get our new furniture in finally because that's all old stuff from uh the old house, a couple boxes, and yeah, there's just a TV going right now, and then for some reason my dad feel like he needs two desktops, so his uh, computer thing is right there. Other than that, I have my pre-game uh, meal over here. I like to eat rice and uh, chicken. Actually, do that. Uh, this is an African dish. I'm from Ghana, if you guys don't know, so I eat mainly African food at home. So this is rice and uh, black pepper. Uh, I put the sauce on the rice, and then I eat, uh, put the chicken on top of it as well. So that's what I like having for pregame sometimes when I don't feel like going out, especially now that I'm farther away from uh, Hot Heads Burrito, my uh, main spot. So I just kind of do with what uh, I have when I don't feel like traveling. But yeah, I'm going to get this meal down, uh, do a little bit of vision training, and start getting prepared for the game. So I'm basically done eating, so I'm just going to give you guys a quick house tour, even though not everything's set up yet, because we just moved in here literally a couple days ago. 
But um, you guys have already seen my room and everything. Went into my bathroom for the intro. Like I said, it's kind of a mess until I'm able to get this thing attached into my, uh, what do you call it, into my closet so I can start hanging up my clothes and stuff like that. It's because I don't really like folding my clothes. I'd rather hang them. I find it easier to find. <laughs> um, yeah, nothing too much in here. Need to get a desk when I get all this cleared up and you know, put my room together a bit more. But that's that. I already showed you guys my bathroom. Uh, this is the laundry room, if I can find a light. Here we go, it's the laundry room. Uh, nothing too special. Just washer, dryer. Um, Tide Pods in here. Yeah, Tide Pods, so eat Tide Pods. Um, door to the garage right here. Oh shit, I need to shut that, holy. <laughs> Um, door to my garage right there. Uh, we just have some boxes and stuff in here that we need to take care of. And it's probably good I went in there because I that was not shut at all. Uh, Dad's computer, which will not be here for much longer. Uh, carpet I just bought so we can lay down. Uh, t TV. Old furniture since our new furniture has not uh, came in yet. Uh a uh, little kitchen, uh, dining table, pantry, you know, the usuals, uh, if I go upstairs. I don't really come up here much because my room's on the first floor. But, uh, ooh, that's my mom sleeping. Uh, it's my brother's room, kind of a mess right now, but, yeah. It's my brother's room, and my parents' room is down there, but I'm not going to go in there because my mom's sleeping, and yeah. So yeah, that's basically a quick house tour. Um, like I said, my mom was sleeping, so I didn't want to, I was going to go say hi to her so you guys could finally meet her, but um, yeah, we're not going to do that and wake her up and have her be pissed off. Other than that, I'm going to do my vision training right now, and then hop in the shower and then after that, head to the game. We have a big game, like I said, number, uh, they're now number six. They were number two last week, but they're the top team in the country, multiple national championships in the last couple of years, Adrian College. So like I said, it's gonna be a test, but I feel prepared and our team feels prepared. So if my name's called today, I'll be there and have faith in our goaltending defense and forwards that we'll be able to get the job done, or at least hang. Like I said, we don't have much to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I, I, I had to get you the eating cam. You got uncomfortable last time, so I had to do it this time. <laughs> How are we doing, Mr. Musan? Good. Really good. Uh, look at that mean mustache. <laughs> 
I said that. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't know what we're doing in the water in Canada, but he has a mean mustache. Three's over there. Vince, like I, he has a mean mustache. Like, what's going on here? Some people can't kinger. <laughs> exactly. That's it. Shit. You can. Shut up, Ritz. Let them know, Ritz. <laughs> hey, it's good. It gets better. You just gotta give me a couple like weeks, <laughs> so I can have time to grow and flourish. We're doing it. On the market. On the market, single and looking. Ladies, hit my man Josh Basan up. He's single. For all my AO pies, hit him up. Looking, he's looking for love. <laughs> he's like a cool AO pie bachelor. Yeah. Like a cool bachelor. Yeah. All right, guys, we're now here at the rank. Um, it's a pretty big game, so I'm just gonna lock in and put the camera away because uh, I gotta get focus on the boys do. This will be one of the best teams we play all season. So, yeah, cut to the game right now. As towards the front is Spate, puts a shot on, stopped there by Snyder. As he'll hold on, a quick, let's draw one back. Nolan, extended shift, fires one on. Here's another shot! It's Chad Notzel. Dogs lead one to nothing. Side wing gets tied up and handcuffed in the corner. It squirts free as Nolan will collect it on the blue. A bouncer off the dash, and Smith will create some time with the head up. Nolan. Across the way, here's a shot coming and a nice save by Snyder. The spinning pass bounces off the end wall. Stays in now, traveling over to the right. Here's a shot, Traska fought it off and they score! A shock but a wacky bounce for Peyton Trasco. We'll see if we can catch it on the replay here. It was a long shot from the right blue. It looked like he got a piece of it. I think it bounced off of his mask, went straight down and pinballed off of a body. And with speed there was Stokes. And a three on one if they can hurry. Here come the Rockets, a shot and they score! 30 seconds in. Toledo on the board for the second time. And a great seeing eye shot by Jack Ludwig. An unfortunate break for the Bulldogs. Quickly, it's Lebo. Down low and a high glove shot. Pushing up to the top. Here's a shot on. Broken up in front. Loose and scrambled. Mott lost an edge. Working it around. Here's a one-time drive from Hatcher. And that one won't go. Dogs are always there for that rebound. There's been a couple times during this period already where it's just gone the other way and not absorbed. A shot from outside and some contact. Dell getting involved and a tie-up. Some fist flying, arm is up, we will get a penalty. Armstrong irate, some face washing down low. And some more punches being thrown. Finally things settle down. We'll start the rush. And gets the silver, two on one. A saucer, this one wide, and it crosses in. In their spirits, they're, they're not gonna show any sign of slowing down or giving up. There's gonna be no submission from this team. Nice move there. Loose in front, that pops free, stayed out. A nice stop there from Snyder. Finally, it's covered up. And some extra action, Schaumburger. Might have had something said to him, and he sends a shove off. Tonight, but it'll be a tough test against one of the top ACHA programs in the country. Toledo, Beaverson after it. He's delivered into the boards and lost his stick. And that'll present some challenges as Adrian takes the puck back, but Mason Snyder, a nice save there. 
Jammer again throws it out near the blue line. Arian passes across. Nolan the shot opportunity. Snyder the save, not once but twice. Back out to Nolan. It comes. He's going to rip another one in there that Snyder knocks wide. Pass off. It's going to make its way to Messier. And Adrian takes it away. Messier gets it back, trying to bring it around to Cottonese. Still out in front. Oviedo tries. And it's kept away by the Bulldogs. Still loose out in front. Pellegrino tries a shot. Here's another. That one wide as well. And I believe there was a non-goalie save. Pass in front, knocked away by Pellegrino. Keaton with it now. Adrian takes it back. They're cutting toward the front of the net once again. Snyder, another gut save. Here's another, and now Adrian scores. Chad Natzel. Adrian has it. There's the shot. Deflected by Snyder up into the net. Couple of hits delivered along the boards. Adrian sends it all the way to the other end, and it goes in. So this is uh, everyone's favorite part of the weekend, or at least my favorite part of uh, the video I meant. Uh, let's do our game recaps for uh, games one and two. So game one went pretty bad. Like I said, everything that could go wrong went wrong. Uh, we kind of hurt ourselves. We took six penalties or something, or six of their goals were scored uh, during uh, while we were killing penalties, and then they had three short-handed goals. So our special teams wasn't doing the best, obviously. Uh, we let up way too many shots. We let up 63, I believe, and to the number two team in the country, you know, we let up 63 shots. They're probably going to do a lot of damage, especially when most of the goals are coming on special teams, whether we're killing or on the power play. Um, but Mason Snyder stood on his head and gave us every chance we could to uh, keep ourselves in that game. We just kind of shot ourselves in the foot. But shout out to Mason for having a hell of a weekend, honestly. We wouldn't have been able to play as we did in game two if he didn't. But uh, in game two, what had happened is we came in. We actually were 0-0 after the first period with them. The second period, uh, they put up four goals, and that was literally it. I mean, yeah, that was literally the whole game. They put up four in the second, and then they scored an empty netter in the third. We pulled Mason and uh, sent uh, an attacker out, obviously for the pull of the goalie, because we were on the power play, and uh, then they scored an empty netter. Other than that, it was just the second period they won one period against us and they ended up winning the game um a four or five zero loss is very good to the number two team in the country especially when we're not ranked at the moment right now um yeah like i said mason had a hell of a game i mean he had 50 shots i believe and only let up four in the second game over 110 shots on the weekend and he literally Kept us in that game, literally diving, <laughs> making plays, going into the splits, doing everything he could to keep the puck out of the net. It was actually funny when we were uh, after the game, I was talking to him. I was like, hey, nice diving save. And I was like, you're probably thinking about which one, Mason. But, um, yeah, other than that, um, okay week in a hockey. You know, it kind of sucks to be on the losing streak we're at. But like I said, all these past weekends we've been playing ranked teams especially coming from independent to where we're playing easier teams to playing top teams in the country is very, very tough. But um, I forget who we're playing this week, and I'll have to double-check our schedule. I thought it was Roosevelt, but I could be wrong. Other than that, uh, let me know what you guys want to see next. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Also, you can notice my room isn't as cluttered anymore because I finally was able to... Um, clean it up and everything so uh i want to put a table right here obviously i'll move that stuff to behind my tv so I'll, my tv is currently on a table i'm going to move my table to right here and then put the tv stand right what right on what my tv is on so um yeah other than that uh i don't have much to say it's a sunday night I'm probably just gonna go relax outside by my uh fireplace and uh, call it a night. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for tuning in and watching. 
and I will see you guys later. Peace, guys. See ya. Goodbye.